Hi everyone, so we're going to look at Core 4 OCR June 2012 paper and the question that we're going to look at is question 1. Now the first question is worth 2 marks and it asks us to simplify. Now if we notice 1 minus x on the top of our fraction, we want to try and factorise the quadratic expression on the bottom of our fraction. So if we factorise it to x minus 2, x minus 1, we might be a little bit disappointed that none of our factors cancel. And it's not too much of a problem because this factor here is very similar to this one. The only difference is one is the negative of the other. So if we put a negative at the top here, we can change the two signs in the bracket, which is just x minus 1 and now it'll cancel out and this our final answer is minus 1 over x minus 2. The second part of the question is a bit harder for four marks. So it's algebraic fractions and whenever we want to add or take away any fractions we need to make sure we've got the same common denominator. So the first fraction take away the second one. Now the common denominator has to be a multiple of this and a multiple of this and preferably the lowest common multiple. Now if we multiply here by x minus 4 and here by x minus 1 we have our lowest common factor. Obviously we can't just multiply on the bottom of a fraction because it will change it. However if we multiply on the top and the bottom it maintains consistency in our equation. Okay, so now that we have a common denominator we can expand the first double bracket so x squared um, minus 3x minus 4 for the first one. Take away and it's very important here that for the next two brackets all of them are negated. Okay, so x squared minus 6x plus 5 and our common denominator of x minus 1, x minus 3, x minus 4. Now when we multiply through the whole bracket by the negative it's going to change all the signs. Okay, So that's going to become a negative, a positive and negative. Now we simplify, the x squared is going to cancel, we're going to have 3x and we're going to have minus 9. Now we need to check if that will factorise because if it will we can cancel out and simplify some more. So if we see on the top of our fraction that we can factorise into 3 times by x minus 3. We will notice that the factor x minus 3 is going to cancel and we get our final answer of 3 over x minus 1 times by x minus 4. Sorry about the tiny little writing at the end there but I hope you followed the video. I hope it's helpful and it makes sense. Thanks for watching and see you soon. See you soon.